Hello, and welcome to Media Literacy in 90 Seconds at WHSK. This is Claire at Bloomsburg University. Technology in healthcare is continuously innovating and updating. Recently, researchers and engineers have developed what is known as a digital twin. The digital twin is a virtual model of a part of somebody's body. This model can be of organs, tissue, cells, or even microenvironments. The digital twin is an exact replication of the human body parts down to the smallest molecular levels. It is used to predict future statuses of diseases, defects, damages, or failures. Researchers are utilizing the digital twin to help find cures, disease prevention, or treatments. It has already been used to spot problems in patients and predict how the patient will react when being treated. There is a great possibility this new technology will be utilized on patients and hospitals in the upcoming months. The digital twin could be a revolutionary medicinal discovery that could potentially help thousands of patients cure or treat illnesses without the unpredictability of side effects. They could go into a treatment already knowing how they will react. With all new technology, there are always potential harms. In this case, if the digital twin is incorrect in predicting the outcome of treatment, it could cause a lot of mental and physical damage on the patient. The patient's supporters could also experience emotional damage because they were told one thing and unprepared for the different results of a treatment. But from a surgical point of view, the success rate of procedures could increase. If surgeons had exact copies of organs to practice surgeries on, they would be more prepared than ever. The goal of the digital twin is to decrease mistakes and side effects, even in and after surgeries. I think that the digital twin could be the future of medicine. This could benefit people everywhere. It changes the course of healthcare as we know it. Think of all the possibilities that would come from the utilization of the digital twin. Maybe it'll help cure cancer or Alzheimer's. The answers are unknown now, but there is so much potential that could come from this new technology. Thank you for tuning in to WHSK with Claire. Have a good one.